Hi, this is Rachel. In science, you will often be using symbols. This video will show you how to access some of the most common symbols you will be using in Microsoft Word. So first of all, open up Word like I have here. As you can see, I have a Mac, so I have Word for Mac, but the principle is the same for Windows. Everything should be in roughly similar menus. So we're going to look at symbols particularly the degrees symbol for temperatures and angles, and also some Greek letters. So I'm going to start off with degrees. Now I find the degrees symbol by clicking on the flag at the top bar of my Mac. So if I show my top bar, you can see that I have a little language flag there. So this is the keyboard input button. And if you don't have it, you can enable it by going to System Preferences, and this is on a Mac, on System Preferences, Keyboard, Input Sources, and then at the bottom it says Show Input Menu in Menu Bar. So if I untick it, you can see my flag disappears, and if I tick it, my flag reappears. So that is how you get the flag there. So to get my symbols, I can click that flag and click show emoji and symbols. And this will bring up a pretty comprehensive symbol browser. So to get my degrees symbol, I click on punctuation on the left hand side and I choose the degrees symbol. So you can see this one here it's called the degree sign. So back in my Word document, say I want to have something that is 34 degrees, again, angle or temperature, this works for both. I then double click my degree sign from this menu and it automatically inputs it into my Word document. Now, Greek letters can also be found in this menu under math symbols. So go to math symbols and then if you scroll down a fair ways, then we have some weird fonts. But we also have our Greek letters here. So you can do your Greek letters through this, but actually I prefer to do it a different way. So I find my Greek letters under insert symbol and symbol browser. And that brings up this simpler menu. So if I just, in this automatic place it's taken me to, if I scroll down then all of my Greek symbols are here. And there are some other symbols that are commonly used as well. So from here I can choose my Greek letters. So maybe I'm calculating the area of a circle or even dealing with angles, I can find pi. So um, let's say the area of a circle is pi r squared. So I click my pi, it inputs a pi into my Word document, then I can add my r and my squared. And I've talked about how to do superscripts in one of my previous videos, if you don't know how. So I can find pi there, and it's as simple as clicking on the symbol you want. So some units, so if you're giving something with units, they also need Greek symbols. So one of the smaller units you might come across is micro units. So micro is designated by the Greek letter mu, which is also found in this Greek menu. So if I find my mu, here it is, click it once, and you can see mu has appeared in my Word document. And again, that could be, say, micrometers. So I've got micrometers, micrometers. We can also find uh, symbols such as alpha and beta here, which can be used for, for example, glucose structures. So again, I'm just clicking the symbol to add it to my document. So let's do alpha, which is this symbol here, alpha glucose and beta glucose. So if I my symbol for beta, click it, then my glucose. 
And that's it. That's how we add symbols like degrees or Greek letters to Word documents. And in the symbol browsers, both of the ones I showed you, you can see there's plenty of other symbols in there. So if you do find yourself needing a certain symbol, you'll know where to look.